peace healing vibe crew welcome to another video um today i am going to get a spirit message for introverts i've noticed that a lot of introverts are coming out of their shells spirit is saying bring yourselves out of hiding there's work to do it's time for you to shine it's like a new activation of mastery an activation of force that has yet that's untapped that has yet to be tapped into so if you've been getting a certain urge to be motivated face your fears um this is for you okay yes this message is for you so let's see what spirit has for introverts the deck has already been shuffled, okay? And the intent has been embedded. So let's see. Okay, so there's going to be some prayers that are going to be answered, okay? There's going to be some prayers that are going to be answered or make some time to ensure that your time is met in a meditative um, space, okay? To be able to be attuned and receive I'm also feeling what I'm getting this what I'm this message I'm getting is that this is very specific okay so if this is a message for you take heed to this spirit sees you I see like you're in some type of loss um, forgotten type of space okay and there is no color no color no life no joy no no high vibration and I feel like you are wrapped in just denial and deception. And you have no emotion. There's, I'm not feeling emotion from this. It's just kind of a ragdoll or a mannequin-ish is what it's given. As if the life out of you has been removed, replaced. Okay? And... I feel like there is going to be a breakthrough. Okay. So if you are a particular person that has been feeling colorless, soulless, okay. Um, a person that has felt as if everything has been blocked and, and also things are not manifesting. Like you don't, you like those words are far away from you. You feel it as if it is. You know, make sure that you are taking some time, taking some time to yourself and just like pray, pray. Prayer is going to be very important, okay? Prayer is going to get you through this time of lack of self-expression and also reflection, okay? Like you should not have any fear and it's time to allow those abandoned um, emotions pieces of yourself to they it's like it's just more there's some acknowledgement that's been lacking that's needed needed okay let's look into these cards here what's this spirit the three of air right great sadness take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others is here okay so this is what you're weighing on this is what you are holding on to. This is the energy of not allowing yourself to be free, be healed. Allow your yourself to be free and to be healed of this grief, of this sadness. And it's really interesting because this is the tone that I was getting, that brown tone, that tone of just like 
lack of color, right? Lack of color, lack of just that soul, that spirit, that energy, um, and that mocky fogginess. Um, you could be in some form of potential confusion, lost, because I feel like the energy has been very robotic in a sense. The way that you do things has been lacking the essence, the spirit, okay? And spirit is letting you know that I'm here. I've never left you. And I feel like that is why prayer and works is going to be very important to connect to your, your highest uh, possibilities and self because it's going, to, it's going to save you. It's going to get you through. And it's waiting for you. And it's an extension of who you are. You know, it's just those childlike um, instances and things that you have to let go and and make peace with, you know, and allow it to have um, ease. Allow it to have ease to be able to move and to be able to flow. It's just when things get clogged and blocked and backed up and you know, it's like a, um, yeah, like a big backup, right? Like a, some homes get like sewer, um, sewer drain backups and things like that, where it's just really a lot. Like it just starts to overflow. It starts to get sh messy. <laughs> things start to get messy. And it's really interesting because what I was really going to say is things get really shitty and that brown tone is here so it's really saying that yeah things may have hit the fan things may have black box blacked up boxed up got clogged and things became shitty and messy and just you know nasty and all of that that you became um a, a shitty mess literally is what i'm getting from this this situation um caused a shitty mess for you okay but it's okay right it's levels and stages spirit I want to, I see these cards up. I'm, I'm acknowledging them, but I want to get the ones that are flipped over first, okay? It says the king of earth. So it says a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch, king of earth. So I love this. So this is like showing the other side of the coin. The other side of those muddy, swampy, murky shadows and swampy energy, it's going to be that mystic energy, that natural mystic, okay, of just being able to be able to be transformative to earn your wings, okay? Okay. So this is the king of earth, and it's the successful time, confident except opportunities you've offered, the Midas touch, being able to get through those murky waters, being able to get through those dark times, being able to get through those um, universes that are unknown, breaking through, getting through, be, being able to <laughs> acknowledge looking back and seeing where you've come from like this is the other side of this three of air energy once you allow yourselves to be to be free to be loved to be without fear without self-judgment self these this this energy is really self-inflicting because we live in a universe that is forgiving Okay, the universe is forgiven. So it's when we get too much involved in the world and others and, you know, we criticize and we make things bigger than what it truly needs to be, you know, because all you really have to do is show up for yourself, show up for yourself. And if it doesn't work, you get knocked down, you get your ass back up and you just do your shit again. Over and over and over, no matter how many times. That's what this earth is about. That is what this experience is about. That is what this energy is giving earth energy. The earth energy. This is that angelic energy. It's being able to conquer the emotions, the thoughts that are coming to you through this realm, through this dimension. And transcend it and understand that, you know, I am not this. 
I am not these restrictions. I am not these attachments. I am not these um, bondages. I am not this that tries to keep me um, subservient, complacent, stuck. And so many people will play on your fears that you you project for yourself. This is a time to be mindful of your projections of others, projections of yourself, and really just putting your your touch on things. King of Earth, it strictly says the Midas touch. It's letting you know that you have the energy to be able to get through this. You. You have to be able to make sure you get through this. You have to be able to reach out and get connected with you. All right? You. The middle card. Let's see what's that spirit. Thank you. The ten of air. The end of difficult situations is here, y'all. Okay? Embrace the change. Expect things to get better now. It says recovering from an addiction. Okay. So some people may have been in a very hurt place. They could have been homeless. They could have been um, addicted to substances. Addicted to others that may not have given um, in the reciprocal energy back to them. And they completely became depleted of themselves. Completely became depleted of the energy. And that is possibly why... You're not allowing yourself to give, to give. Because when you're a creator, when, when you are a, an authentic soul, an authentic being, to create is to be vulnerable. To create is to give your truth, your honesty without restrictions, you know? And it's just the world, again, the world. The world could have so many attachments that attach to either feed themselves, okay, to feed themselves, to, to take, to use. And it's really interesting that this energy was really big in social media right now is um, the Cat Williams, for example, and how in his communications, it's others that group together to see an individual that has this talent, these gifts. And instead of working in harmony as a collective, which I feel we should, others could see how they could either imitate, emulate, take, and dishonor. Okay, I'm not going to get too much on that. That could be another conversation, but I'm just stating, okay, that could be a lesson for creators to be mindful that that's a part of the territory. And that's why the legalities and things of that nature is in place to ensure that you're protecting yourself, you're looking out for yourself, and you know, you are doing the necessary things to be the king of earth. I love this energy. Because again, the king of earth is all about making sure that you're professional, that you're responsible, and that you're also practical, that you're not also c coming from your soul self. That's why you have the body of, of shield. That's why you have your shield of body, to be able to make sure that you're protecting and nurturing your soul, pr protecting and nurturing yourself. And that has been challenging for a lot of my star seeds my earth angels, my sensitives, my introverts. It's difficult to be able to be yourself and to allow yourself to be um, subjected to others' opinions because truly, you're here to help. You're here to help. We are here to help. So, message, what else do we have, all right? Let's go with this, the iron of air, because it stood out to me because it says expecting the worst, okay? Self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights, okay? Introverts, earth angels. Spirit is letting you know that these is expectation of the worst based on this 
past experience when it comes to communication with the air energy of the Three of Swords. But when it comes to communication and conflict and self-expression and, you know, you, the the how people receive and take advantage of your intellectual property, your emotional intelligence, your your arts, your creativity, your vulnerability. You cannot allow that to impede on your purpose with the king of fire energy. You're sent here to be motivational. You're sent here to be ambitious. You're sent here to be charismatic and idealistic. And spirit wants you to do what? Okay, let's see if we can get that in here. All right, it says focus, focus, focus. Okay, so let's see if Spirit can get this in here. It's saying like focus, focus, focus is what we need to do here. Focus, 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 okay? Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So Earth Angels, you're being called to be the king of fire and to be called, the and here to be called the king of earth. So you're here to lead your passions on this earth, earth angels, driven by purpose, driven by your light, given by your love, driven by your love, driven by your authenticity, your soul. You are a human with a soul. You are a soul having a human experience, okay? You are a soul being shed by the vessel okay of your body and it's time for you to be who you are there's an activation happening the shift is here where you are meant to be authentic so many people are being authentic in themselves. They're doing so many things to their body. They're doing so many things to alter the outer parts, the outer parts of their self. They're doing so many things to alter the, the outer parts of their self. But then it's also the soul people that are altering and shifting the different parts of their soul. The parts of their innermost existence and innermost being, okay, that is surrounded by the encapsulation of your body. All right. So, prayerfully, this was able to give my introverts, my earth angels, my sensitive ones, <laughs> a nice message, okay? So let's see if we can get an oracle. an oracle please thank you so if you are here please make sure that you are liking please subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think let me know what's going on what are some toxic traits that you are rebuking removing that you are allowing to be let go and parted from okay just drop that and burn it burn it in the comments okay the comments is our pit of fire okay where we are able to let go release that which no longer serves you allow yourself to let go okay allow yourself to be free and allow it to let go. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for the high vibrational message for the Earth Angels, for these introverts. May their light and truth shine. Be free. 
be you be authentic chant your song chant your song allow yourself to receive is here okay allow yourself to receive receive the light receive the the truth receive the gifts of giving okay allow yourself to receive the gift of the positive energy the the energy of the soul the energy of being humans having our souls having a human experience right because even just that by itself y'all that is magical within itself what are the messages please thank you it says find peace within and maybe that is scary maybe realizing the truth of um maybe that is scary maybe realizing the truth of being a, a soul on this earth in this fermented place okay in this space okay maybe that could be overwhelming maybe that's overwhelming but it's 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 the mystic it's the natural mystic that we missed that we mentioned earlier that is just what makes this journey that much more magical okay so what is your purpose what is your reason get back attuned with that okay be kind to yourself it's no more no more no more time for you to allow yourself to be depleted to be, uh, to allow um substances and things to control you okay addictions acceptance of others that are toxic attachments i'm getting that a lot of us are allowing ourselves to be tied to things that are really truly toxic and unhealthy for us during this period of time but we are seeking certain validations and subconsciously because of the grammar greater scheme of things okay for some not all okay any other message please it says ground yourself yes my love ground yourself okay hematite ground yourself find peace fluorite okay i have a fluorite piece i have some of these pieces but these are just some of the crystals that are affiliated with the cards so let's see what other messages for the earth angels Okay, this card was flipped up. It said embrace change. So I'm going to go ahead and read that just because it was in the deck. Flipped, okay. What else? Any other messages? Yes, thank you. <laughs> we guys see the magic. Oh my goodness, y'all look. Okay. Oh my goodness, y'all look. See the magic also came out here. See the magic? And y'all, don't mind my thumb. I was over here, you know doing my prayers and dealing with coal and incense and shit so <sighs> being magical as fuck you know it's messy but somebody got to do it any other messages for the collective introvert collective intuitive earth angels take pleasure in the things that you do okay take pleasure in the things that you do so i feel more more fire fire more fire Okay, more fire. Okay, I feel more fire energy. And finally, spirit is telling you to let it go. Okay, let that motherfucking shit go. It's time to let it go. Okay. It's time to let the shit go. It's time to ground yourself. Be kind to yourself. Find peace within. You have to allow yourself to receive. So you have to let things go for you to receive this nice new peace. So that way you can find pleasure in the things that you do. And allow yourself to be kind. You know, being kind to yourself. Allow to yourself to receive this peace. So it's going to take that meditation. It's going to take grounding yourself. And it's going to require... The shift to, of change of your perspective of you allowing things to be let go of 
So that way you can receive this, okay? And you have to let things, let it go, okay? See the magic, my love. See the magic. It's, it's there for you. And you have to make a decision. So Spirit is letting you know it's up to you. It's up to you. Like, it's not... It's not something that is forced upon us. We have our free will. So it's up to you. What else do we have here? Okay. Soothe your soul. So again, find peace. Be kind to yourself. It's time to soothe your soul. And at the bottom of the deck, and the final out of this is get laser focused. Okay. Time to get laser focused, Madame and Sir. Or Madame Sir whatever okay so let's get a final message from the angels okay let's see here all right all right thank you Thank you so much for the messages so far. We're so grateful. We're so grateful. What message do we have for these introverts that are coming out of this shell spirit? The earth angels, the healers of the world, the soul man. What messages? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Successful funding. Things are going to work out, okay? Things are going to work out once you tap into that king of earth energy. Both spirit wants you to focus on your priorities, my dear, okay? Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention that they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident, okay? So let's get out of that lack of confidence, okay? It's time to get out of that lack of confidence. Focus on your priority a little bit at a time and things will start to focus. Spend more time in, in resting and be more mindful of your dream state and journaling, okay? And just allowing things to, and just having faith having faith and just jumping in and focusing on it, okay? It says sever vows of poverty. So whatever energy that you are currently on that's holding you back, those substances, the, you know, whatever it is that you are allowing to pull you apart or keep you in hiding, okay? Um, those bondages, those attachments, okay they are going to be released they are going to dissolve diminish they are going to be unlocked removed blockages are going to be bursted away for you to focus on these priorities okay any other messages thank you so much spirit for what you've given and have done so far thank you Spirit says, detox your friendships, okay? Your abundance flow is being affected by people with whom you're spending time. It's time to have discernment about these associations. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive of you, okay? And don't stop with your dreaming of your abundance, okay? And that saw me coming up since I did a reading yesterday, um, a collective reading. Um, check it out for the week of the um, 7th through the 13th of January. And I also mentioned don't stop believing, okay? But it says dreams of abundance. And I love this because we was mentioned about focusing on your um, priorities and your dream state came up. And it says dreams of abundance, okay? Spirit is not playing. Never will, never has. Nothing to play with. Serious business. Dreams of abundance, okay? So as you sleep, God, your angels, your higher self, everyone that we have assisting us during this reading, okay, are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain 
valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So that's another confirmation, Spirit. Thank you very much. So in ending, okay, in closing of this magnificent um, session, I just want to say that all it takes is just a little bit of energy in the direction of your desires to remove away from what it is that you want to remove or detach from. And don't allow whatever is keeping you hidden to keep you detached from your truth, from yourself, from your mission, okay? It's important that you show up for yourself every single motherfucking day. If you stay uh, this long, make sure you like, comment. You better subscribe, okay? <laughs> And I, I appreciate y'all. Share this out with someone that you feel could benefit from the message. And I'll see you all again. Let me know what you think, all right? If you stayed this far, this long, make sure that you are showing some love. And I'll see you all in my next video.